Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Madden. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make an animated translucent material in Unreal Engine 5. So let's start. First, let's go to the content browser and add a new material. And let's call this animated material. You can call it however you like, but I will leave it like this. And then we open it. And you have to drag a texture in. I have this arrow sign texture here. I show it to you real quick. I created this myself. If you want all the textures I created for signs, then click on the info card and you will get them from there. And now let's go back to the material and I show you how to animate it now. So let's plug it in at first. And we preview this as a plane. This is way better because we will use it as a plane too. And now you can right click and search for rotator. And this is the first way to animate the textures. So you just plug the output from the rotator into the UVs from your texture sample. And you can see this rotates in the middle. Yeah, pretty easy. Of course, you can change the coordinates and time. And if you want to make it rotate faster, you can change the speed here. So let's change it to one. And you see this rotates really fast now. Of course, you can make it rotate the other direction if you say minus one. Okay, and now it rotates in the other direction. And yeah, of course, you can change the coordinates too. You can change the center and how you like it. I will not show this to you because you know this very easy and you can do this how you like it and now just right click and search for panner this is the second option to animate this and of course you can combine this if you want but i will show you the panner at first so let's plug this into the uvs and now you see nothing happens why is this this is because you don't set the speed for the y and the speed for the x so let's set a speed of one we can see the arrows moving but in the wrong direction so let's set it to minus one okay this looks pretty nice and of course you can add values to the y just the y or combined so if i set the value to one you will see the arrows move to the top right corner and if i set it to minus one they will move to the top left corner but let's just leave it at one and preview this and as I said they move from the bottom left to the top right but let's set a value of zero I think this works fine and we got this okay so you can combine them with a linear interpolate node you can see how this looks I think it's a pretty cool effect I don't know where you can use this but you can combine them this way and also with an add node so I plug this in and then into the UVs and then you get other results and yeah then you can adjust the values and play a bit with it and maybe this fits your needs I don't know but let's delete the rotator and the add node and let's just keep the pan node now we come to the part where I show you how to make this thing translucent. So let's set the blend mode from opaque to translucent. And yeah, but it looks like before, so you have to plug the RGB from here into the opacity. Okay, and you see how this looks. Make sure you have a pretty high contrast. So I have pure black and pure white here. And the black areas are the areas that are translucent and the white areas are the areas that are shown. And now I want to add a color to this. So let's delete the base color and we use the emissive color because we want to make like a neon sign. So let's search for multiply and then also press three on the keyboard and left click. Then you get this constant three vector and Let's give this a really cool color like this and the RGB goes into the multiply and then the constant three vector goes into the multiply as well and we plug this into the emissive color. 
Okay, this looks pretty cool. Now let's adjust the strength of the emission. So copy and paste the multiply node and then press one on your keyboard, left click, and you get this constant, then right click and convert this to a scalar parameter. And let's call this strength. Okay, this goes into the B and this multiply output goes into the A and then we plug this into the emissive and let's set a strength of 10, okay. And you can see it glowing, nice. So let's save this and let's just get two planes. So plane one on the ground. Okay. And let's get another plane for the wall like this. And now you can apply the materials. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty nice. Let's just make it like this. Yeah, guys, I think that's pretty awesome. This looks so cool. And if you're using this in the night scene, I think you can get a really, really cool effect. Okay, I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.